Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Al. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this Zendaya inspired makeup look that I saw on Instagram. I'm not sure who posted it, but here's the makeup look. I'll post a picture right here. And yeah, it kind of looks similar actually to my last makeup tutorial, which is a simple neutral glam kind of look. But it has mauve and pink undertones to it. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. So first, I'm going to apply this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to apply that all over my eyelids. Then, with a fluffy brush, I'm going to take the Salted Caramel Eyeshadow and I'm going to place that all over my crease as my transition shade. Transition shade? <laughs> then taking Limit and Nooner, which is a mauve color and a muted pink color, I'm going to take the same fluffy brush and I'm going to place that all over my crease. Doing this will just add a mauve and pink hue to the whole eye look. Then, using this pink blush from Milani, I'm gonna place that all over my eyelids. This is gonna serve as my eyeshadow base. And that's also just going to give the whole eye look a pinkier tone. After that, I'm going to take this pencil brush using this chocolate shade. And I'm going to try to recreate a crease. So I'm going to create a soft cut crease to recreate the deep set eyes of Zendaya because I have coated almost monolith so I'm just trying to recreate the crease but if you guys have a natural deep set crease then just apply chocolate shade to your crease area that's just gonna add a smoky look to this whole makeup look also it's just gonna define your crease even more after doing so you want to take a fluffy brush, a clean one, and you're going to blend the edges of the fake crease that you created, or the crease that you created rather, and just blend away. Be patient with blending guys because blending is key to any perfect makeup look. So just blend and blend and blend. Then I'm just going back with a chocolate shade and this pencil brush, I'm just gonna redefine the crease area a bit more. And then I'm gonna go back with a clean fluffy blending brush and I'm just gonna blend it once again. After that, I'm going back with the salted caramel shade and with a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna use that to blend everything together, and that's just gonna tie the whole look together and make it appear more seamless. And then I'm going back with the blush that I used earlier, and I'm gonna reapply that to my lids because it kind of got rubbed off after all the blending that I did. And then I'm going to take this milk chocolate shade with a pencil brush and I'm going to place that all over my lower lashes. Now taking this Rimmel Eye Pencil in a brown shade, I'm going to apply that with a eyeliner brush and I'm going to apply that really close to my lower lashes. Almost to the waterline, that's just going to give the illusion that I actually have thick lower lashes and that's just gonna give the eye look a smokier effect. 
So now I'm just taking this Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to line my eyes. I'm just going to literally line my eyes. I'm not going to do any wing or any fancy eyeliner style. <laughs> then I'm going to pop on my lashes and bam! My eyelashes are <laughs> done. While waiting for the lash glue to dry, I'm going to reapply brow powder just to give or just to add rather more definition to my eyebrows. Because in the photos in this, eyebrows were really defined. Although I didn't make my arch as high as hers because I still wanted to make this makeup look suitable for my face shape. After that, I'm just going to take the lightest shade from the Naked 3 palette and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bones. And using my favorite inner corner highlight, which is MAC Soft and Gentle, I'm placing that on the inner parts of my eyes just to make my eyes pop a lot more. And right now, I'm just applying the face powder, which is from MAC. I'm just setting my face because I already applied my foundation prior to filming the whole video. By doing this, my bronzer, which is the middle shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, will apply smoothly and seamlessly. I'm just gonna bronze the perimeters of my face. After doing that, I am going to take the coolest shade in this palette and I'm gonna use that to contour my cheekbones. And right now, I'm just applying nose contour because I have but a nose, bunny nose as my friends say. So that's just gonna make my nose a lot more visible. And using the same blush that I used as my eye um, eyelid base or eye color base a while ago, I'm just applying that to my cheeks because then they had really pink um, cheeks in the photo. And lastly, I'm just gonna apply this Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Nude Nuance together with my favorite Essence Lip Liner in In The Nude to tie this whole look together. And this look is complete. And that's it you guys. That completes this makeup look. I really like how this makeup look turned out. I like how glamorous yet still very neutral and simple it looks. Um, like I said, it's kind of comparable to my old, I mean my last makeup tutorial but it has pink and mauve undertones which I really love. So yeah, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on my social media accounts so we can be friends. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!